Welcome to the first ever Luxury Kitchen Summit. I'm, I'm so excited uh, to have five people that will have it, will help you determine what you're going to buy in the next week or next 10 years. Okay, Fisher Paykel, Jennifer Bradley. Thanks for, for having me. Super honored to be here. Want to share a little bit with your audience about Fisher & Paykel. We're a brand that hails from New Zealand, so quite a bit away from the U.S. market. Um, but our philosophy is about designing for a changing world. So we really consider when we create our products, focused on human connection, focused on the urbanization. It's really changing the way we built our kitchens, we build our houses. And sustainability is responsibility of all of us. And so how we create our products, but also how the products are used in the home is really important. Healthy living, of course, is a new luxury now more than ever. And technology, and technology is a very purposeful, is really what we're focused on. Um, so consumers, they're really changing, and there's really a focus on respecting food, evolving cooking styles, and healthy living. So when we look at what the customer is going to do with our products, we take all of that into consideration. So a couple of new products to share with you. Steam is really a new way of cooking, and so we uh, we know steam enhances the natural flavors. We know it locks in nutrients. We know that there's many different steam functions that you can use. So we've launched our new Series 11 steam combination oven, and within that oven, you have 23 different functions. So it's really a multifunctional tool. You can do sous vide, you can do five different steam cycles, or you can do regular functions for convection or even air fries within that product. So it's a great multifunctional tool product. And when we think about our consumers wanting to cook in different ways, this gives them a great product to work with. Another product that we're launching this, this quarter actually is our new triple zone refrigeration. So this is a columns refrigeration. And the beauty of this is it has three different zones on their freezer side. So you can choose from chill mode in a zone, soft freeze in a zone. Soft freeze is actually great for storing meats and then regular freezers. And you can have three independent zones going on at one time on the freezer side. And the same with the refrigeration side, you can have fridge in the top zone, and then you can choose from pantry, fridge, or chill. Pantry is great for storing your fruits and vegetables because it preserves them for longer. And we know a lot of customers, a lot of us, throw a lot of food away because it spoils really quickly. So pantry mode is perfect for preserving your food for longer. And it's great because you can get these three different zones working. Chill is great for chilling wine if you want to chill beverages and it doesn't over chill it. And um, so this gives a lot of versatility. The other thing is we have an active smart technology within this product. So if you have a family that has a lot of children and they're in and out of the refrigerator, it's going to adjust the temperature to maintain those right zones. Or if you're just a couple that's barely in and out of their freezer, freezer or refrigerator, it does the same thing. It, it adjusts the usage so it maintains the perfect temperature across the three different zones. So this is launching for us in April of this year. And then I'd be remiss not to talk about induction cooking. Um, induction has been part of our portfolio for a long time, but we're excited to announce our, our new modular cooktop. What's beautiful about this is for people who are customizing homes, especially in the luxury sector, they can create their own cooktop. You can have a teppanyaki grill, you can have an induction, any size you want. You can even have a downdraft induction in there. So this gives a versatility of customizing with your different um, cooking surfaces that you're looking for. So that's uh, that's what's going on at Fisher and Paykel, and I did my best to be in the two and a half minutes. Hire's the owner of GE, and and these are turnaround guys. They've done a great job at GE and Fisher and Paykel. Do you do you think you'll share resources with Monogram and maybe Cafe? You know, as being part of a big giant, we're always going to look for efficiencies. But what's really important for us is never compromise our brand ID or our what our technologies are within the product. So we stay true to that, but we're going to find efficiencies, whether it's being service or some of the back end stuff, for sure. You're known for the double drawer dishwasher going to buy, sell a normal dishwasher. What's the idea behind that? Yeah, I mean, we're very proud of our dish drawer platform. I mean, that's that was really a user-driven innovation that drove that product. But we also realized that our cost, there are customers out there that want a, a drop-down. And so expanding our portfolio, while dish drawer will always be our primary pride and joy, having a great dishwasher was important to reach more customers. Totally agree. So who is the Fisher? How do you how does Fisher Pickle compete against you know all the people here and the other giant manufacturers as part of hire? 
So it's really focused on our customer. We're really focused on that future user. And so we want to be deep with our customers and very, we're look, you know, our customers that are attracted to us are typically designers. We see a lot with analytics that designers are coming to us. A younger customer typically comes to us. Someone who's looking for something more modern and contemporary. And um, we really fit in that zone. And we, <laughs> we tap into designers a lot to understand who their clients are as we design our products as well. But staying true to who we are is really important. Gas has already been banned in vertical housing in many cities. How does this affect your product portfolio? Let's start with, um, how about you, Jen? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, for us, because we come from New Zealand, induction's been a key focus for us for a while. Um, it's very popular in other countries. So it's not really about the bands. It's we've been investing in this. And um, as I just showed, we have a new modular cooktop that's a really big focus for us. And we'll always cater to guests, right? But induction has just great properties too, right? It gives you really great cooking performance. It's energy efficient. So all of that already really feeds into our portfolio. You're going to make a 48? We are. Mm. That's all I can say about it. <laughs> No, no, no. Hey, listen, I'm not looking for anything proprietary. You know, I mean, God forbid. Yeah. You know, um, colors become a big trend. I personally think stainless. Um, it's never going to dethrone stainless because stainless matches. It's easy. It's inexpensive. What percentage of your sales is colors, and do you see a lot more of it um, nowadays? For us, our primary colors, of course, are stainless, black glass. Um, so we're, we put color where it makes sense, where it can pop, really collaborating with our design community and where it makes sense for the brand. Our aesthetic is a little bit more contemporary and modern. Um, so yes, red red is a good one for us right now. And that's our classic range. It's pops. It tends to be like the centerpiece and then everything else is in black and stainless. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's a, for us, it's not our primary story, but it definitely plays a part. You know, had more colors? At this point, we're sticking with what we have for this season, and we'll see what next year holds. Smarts improved considerably from when when, when I first started uh, talking about Smart in 2021. How far are we from saying, Alexa, hey, make me lasagna, and having Alexa actually make you lasagna? Um, how far off are we? Uh, Jennifer, uh, your company owns Smart HQ, which arguably could be one of the best smart platforms, yet you guys don't seem to be on it. Um, and also smart HQ has got the Heston Q, which I actually have the 110 Heston Q because I have a rental apartment with an old electric range in it. Um, and it, it works actually, but any plans for you guys to go into smart? Yeah, for sure. Um, we're actually gearing up to launch that platform with our products to be Wi-Fi connected. I think for us, technology is similar to what Eliza said. It's about purposeful, what our customer wants, what our client's looking for and less about gimmicky. So um, you know, you'll, you'll see some progression for sure for Fisher and Paykel, and we'll make it what we want to make sure that we're enhancing the experience of our client, not just doing technology for technology's sake. So more to come. I want to ask you guys, what is the one trend or mega trend in the next that you'll see that people will see, um, in the next say one to 10 years, you can pick one is induction, gas, heat pump, color, smart, steam, um, service, whatever it is. If I think of a mega trend, it's healthy living, right? When you think about the fresher ingredients people want to cook with and how they cook, you know, the whole conversation on gas and ventilation and being healthier. So I think, I think it's around healthy living. And if we all look at our products and what we show up with, this is, this is where we can tap into it in many different levels. Um, and not, not to mention sustainability, like sustainability is all of our responsibility. And, and there are consumers expect that of us. So we just have to really pay attention to those things. And that's what we're focused on. Uh, I, I learned a lot. Um, and, and I want to thank you all. Um, I knew you'd do great. You did do great. Um, and, and thank you again. Hopefully we'll do this again sometime, you know, uh, and uh, that's about it. And we finish on time. Thank you, Steve. Uh, Thanks thank for you, having Steve. us. It's terrific. It's Great fun. pleasure. Thank you. Bye, Thanks, everybody. everybody. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Thank you.